last week on the Glass Cannon Podcast. The fight against the Gorgas was the first fight you have ever had together as a group. This is the second. While attempting to stop a vile ritual. Buggles, you almost fall over in fear as you see hog tied to the altar is a unicorn and save a majestic beast. I really want to cut this <laughs> unicorn free. The heroes unleashed terror. <laughs> it stumbles up to you. To with, me, the oak steward's right there. Yep, it's going to try and impale you on its horn. 25 to hit. As the battlefield descended into chaos. Two of them have uh, been hit, one of them hasn't been hit, and there's a unicorn, a wild unicorn on the loose. They cut down their enemies. His eyes snap open and they're glowing red. That is 16 points of damage. And the oak steward falls. Yes! Until there was one. And it's just like backing away and holding its arms up and the unicorn is still going wild. The adventure continues. Muggles, save the unicorn. <laughs> All right, no, I hate it. No. A couple minutes ago, before we went live, uh, I was looking at the background, and our cinematographer mentioned that Sydney's shirt uh, matched the background. Uh, but I liked the blue color uh, that we picked more than I liked Sydney's shirt. <laughs> So we asked her to, to change, and she's like, oh, I'll put on chicken poon. We're like, great. And so she stole Ch Kate's chicken poon shirt. Stole I believe. Kate's chicken poon. I didn't know that was my shirt. <laughs> and uh, The victimless crime, really. Soiled it. I can only fit so many shirts in a backpack. <laughs> I brought a blue shirt. That uh, was the shirt I brought. She rode a bike. I rode my bike. She had to travel light. You got to let us know. She rode 14 miles, maybe more. You gotta let us know what together. color you plan on doing. I, I guess so. Well, I just kind of feel it out. I'm like, I'm feeling blue for this episode. And You're uh, feeling blue? I'm oh, feeling a little blue. Oh, no. Yeah. Troy. Well. You can talk to us. It's well, okay. I'll be okay. I got some coffee. You're in a safe space. space. The oh. part of the story you're leaving out is before that happened with Sydney, before you even noticed she was wearing a blue shirt, you were looking at the monitor and you were like, blue, I think blue is my favorite. God, this looks hot. <laughs> and I said to you, does it look hot for anybody else but you? And you looked at me like I had broken your brain. <laughs> so I, gotta, I, I don't understand the question. Other people? Other people? Other people? <laughs> what? Uh, but you came back and you were like, is this better? And I just gave you the most awkward thumbs up that was also a middle finger. I was like, yeah. You did it was that. like, this it wasn't more crooked. You did the, it's as if you had like something wrong happened like to your Like arthritis. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, he, yeah. went, he went, yeah, it looks good. And then he put his hand down and he goes, I did not mean to give you the middle finger. I don't was, know why. It was the saddest, I don't know like about like my body didn't know what I was trying to do, but this is the new official thumbs yeah, up of the like, class canon. Yeah, yeah, it's like hey. uh, you're awesome. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, this is going you, to be a you. thing. Yeah, this is how I feel. But a lot it of the doesn't time. go up like yeah. this. It's just like it's this. just a little side. You, reali you realize that every time we do a live show now, the audience is going to they're all going oh, to no. give us the but finger. We call it the glass cannon. Hello, it's yeah. to the side though. It's not up. No, no, that'd be rude. Glass cannon salute. Glass cannon salute. You put it The venue staff is going to be like, fuck, how are this group in there? fan base go this to the is... vip after party how was the show <laughs> joe this is really good this salute oh that's yeah. fun oh yeah that's good and then you yeah. turn it up yeah the thing is Shabam. too you can't 
No, you can do a th- thumbs oh, down. Thumbs I thought that you wouldn't be able to do a thumbs down, but you can. Like a gladiator. Kate's going, Kate's going, oh God, I can't I thought, I was like, <laughs> like in my brain, the I thought that you would have to do this. You give yourself the finger. Yeah, like, I did I poorly. I didn't realize too. you could just twist yeah, your that, I think that's wrist. the lead here, is that Kate didn't realize you could turn your But when you think about it in your head, yeah. you're like, how do human bodies work? But then you use it, and you're like, oh, that's how they work. Oh. No, but Kate, you are right. Yeah. It creates a problem. What? You think you're giving yourself the finger. Yeah. But that's and part of it. you have to do the whole jam. <laughs> oh, that's fun. <laughs> so what you're saying hey, Sydney, is, hurts. I'm I don't like your shirt. No, <laughs> and then you add it in a middle finger, it's which is a nice It's also kind of adds a sass, like, mm. Yo. <laughs> yeah. mm. That's the glass cannon mm. goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> See ya. For those only listening to the show, Joe has, uh, I don't know, tilted his body into an S-curve and pointed the salute over his shoulder. <laughs> really felt like he's throwing a, an old uh, pair of trousers away. <laughs> What? He soiled them. <laughs> How do you throw pants away? Is that what you, that what you do what when you throw do? your one pair of jeans away? <laughs> Every week I soil a pair of pants and just toss them. Uh, we have a lot of fun pre-show, and uh, I'm glad you could be uh, along for that ride. <laughs> I was going to say we should have the uh, rolling for that, <laughs> but we shouldn't. Yeah, no. no. There was some stuff no, there, uh, really intense stuff that Skip started <laughs> talking about. We ate our lunch like monsters. We, did. we ate very quickly. And then I burped a few times, so yep. no. We yeah, caught if anyone that. Picks up on the weird energy. It's because Troy gave me the middle finger. Mm-hmm. All that to say, Troy yeah, gave and me the middle. Forced finger. her to change her clothes and forced me to change my shirt because it didn't conform to my religious standard. <laughs> <laughs> and yet, chicken poon does. I have a weird religion. <laughs> Troy doesn't. Uh, Troy doesn't like it when people wear royal blue on their bodies. Yes, no, I don't. Only, only when I wear it in the background. Only I may wear royal, royal blue. <laughs> royal blue. Wobble. 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 My way. Wobble. Can we talk about uh, Pathfinder Second Edition? Sure. Is sure. it? Uh, I, it. Are you guys? Do you think it's too hard of a game? No. That's the sense that I'm getting from you guys. It's what? too hard, hard and you don't want to no, no, no. no, play. Never what does that mean? It's too hard and you don't want to play. What too hard s- to understand. What? Too, too hard, hard to survive. To That's what I'm I was going to say. I never blame the game. I blame you. I I blame us. No, I was hit I with know, a crit. I know who Joe blames. Who do you blame? Well, I was going to say, I, I, hit, I was hit with a crit. That's why it yeah. was hard for me. But everyone that else, it was, it was 11. So it's like, okay, they're really powerful. Okay. Big swings. Yeah. Big swings. Big yeah. staffs. That happens. And big choices that players make and other players Big creative choices. Hate. Joe. Sydney, there's something you want to say. I think we should just. I talk just want to say, I, I let's let's look at the unicorn in the room. <laughs> let's address the, the unicorn. unicorn in the room. Let's do the I... the official sign of the unicorn. In the room. <laughs> <laughs> thumbs up. And I'll give myself head. a little bit of a thumbs down. And yourself the finger, which is perfect. <laughs> I made a choice, and it could go. Matthew said it great because afterward I was like, did I make the wrong choice? You know, I made a fun like it wasn't even funny. I just wanted to release the unicorn, but Matthew was like, if I had rolled better on the knowledge check about the unicorn, we may have known how to like make it relaxed instead of freaking out immediately. Mm -hmm. But I'm still, I stand by what my choice and we did, we had a great combat. I thought it was great. I like, I like the unicorn. I thought it was a fun choice too. You, it's not your fault. Your GM is vindictive. Yeah. Uh, first of all, <laughs> I don't think this is about me and Sydney. I think it's about Sydney and Joe. Sometimes the right choices are boring. <laughs> <laughs> nice work. And I think nice we should talk. Yeah. I think we should talk about that. That was a real <laughs> swing right towards uh, Joe. You had some very uh, mean things to say about him at the restaurant next door, and so no, I no didn't. she said I those. Didn't go. She you, said those in the bathroom shit. with me. <laughs> you, you, you didn't get into that. it. We can get into it. <laughs> you are sowing discord at the table. I, I said nothing. I'm just saying you were like, uh, Joe made me feel small and I think it's because I'm a woman. And I was like, whoa. <gasps> whoa, whoa you whoa, are whoa, being whoa, whoa, whoa. a Lisa said, Vanderpump right now. Joe has... <laughs> Uh, Stirring Joe shit is not walking like that. away. <laughs> Joe is not oh, like that. My goodness. <laughs> I stood up for you, Joe. <laughs> you should have seen it. You should have seen it. <laughs> but look at her eyes. Did I, you, I was you, scared. I <laughs> don't you feel like he he kind of made you feel bad for me? <laughs> no, no. I think Joe I didn't say a word after I, I said don't do that idiotic thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and she went and did it. And I didn't say anything. Yeah, Joe said nothing. I think Joe is a very strategic player and you had a plan and I, it's not that I had a plan. It's just that I feel vulnerable <laughs> without the badassery of uh, Lucky by my side. Interesting. And I'm like, why do you care about the unicorn more than us? So that was, I was very, <laughs> and then it killed a guy. I was afraid. And then it killed but a guy. you totally redeemed yourself 
with a completely ridiculous double crit. Double crit. So yeah. there you go. It all worked out. It all works. The die were in my favor. Yes. I feel like I was just on like a reunion episode of the last episode and you're Andy Cohen and you're like, ladies. Yeah. yeah. And then, and then and we, we show the clip and then we hug at the end. Yeah. And yeah. cry. And cry. Yeah. We need the meme. Of I the, love you so much. Of the cat and the uh, housewife, but replace Joe's face. Please, Kyle Richards, Nish, help us out. <laughs> <laughs> you want to get into it? We man? will have that by the end of the day. That's yeah. amazing, guaranteed. Uh, well, okay. I wanted to make sure you guys were cool because that was, <laughs> there was some hurtful things. Oh my said. god! Clear the air. Wait, but to go back to your original question, which is, which is, I don't think Andy Cohen stirs up as much trouble as <laughs> no, Troy. Oh. Oh. Up as oh. I just don't yes, want there to does. be any weirdness between anybody at my table. The thing I'm surprised about, having not played a first level character in second edition for a very long time, slash ever. No, I have, but just not very much. Mm -hmm. Is, I mean, it's like two hits and you're down, mm -hmm. and not even two good hits. Like, not like a crit. Obviously, was I and mean, then that crit was massive. Yeah. And if and I, I was I, I, for a minute, I was worried if that was going to take her. Like, it was going to be massive dying, massive damage rolls, whatever. But the like two hit two mediocre hits and you are out. Yeah, and that, like that, and that, that seems to be what it's scaled for in this adventure. And I don't know if that's true of the game. I I think it is. Yeah, yeah. At and first it, level, you're extremely vulnerable, so you have to be smarter. But also, we have, which is unusual for our party makeups, a cleric and a psychic. And I didn't realize you had healing powers. Mm -hmm. So yeah. like, and I can heal a very limited. And you oh. can make a little potion. Oh yeah, you can make a little potion. I just mean in combat though. Like you were healing me. Mm -hmm. If you didn't heal me, that could have been very, very bad for me. Yeah, yeah. psychic healing and, and made and the difference. This group has not played a proper game of 2E really yet in a 2E module that is made for 2E yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. at first level. Huge. And I think we're going to find that people go down all the time. Yeah. Yeah. And that's not the end of the world. Like be, getting getting the dying condition is routine. Well, yeah, that, that's the now difference going to between die four, not so routine. That, that's the difference between this and first edition where it's just like, you know, you can, you, a good hit could bring you below your con where it's like that really wouldn't happen here, at least on the first your first time down. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, that crit was four insulated. points away from perma killing me. <laughs> yeah. For the masses, for massive, massive damage, damage rules. Mm -hmm. is, uh, let's oh, talk we about, said we're doing that. Yeah, we're doing massive oh. damage. Oh, yeah. So if you double your hit point total and go to negative that in one John, uh, you would be dead zone. Yeah. So that's why I was really, really scared when you went down with the crit. It is a crit, but it's also like the non-crit version of the hit was enough damage that I would go down. With if it was not a crit at my Excuse max, me, I, HP. I misspoke. You you instantly die if you take damage equal to or greater than double your maximum. It's not yes. about mm -hmm. going below. No, it's not about yeah. yeah going below your HP. It's in one shot taking double your HP mm -hmm. in damage and in one shot, it and it was away. possible. Thirty eight yeah. for me, and it was a thirty four point. <sighs> yeah, I didn't roll max yeah. damage, so it was possible. Yeah, but like even healing her may have potentially doomed her because if you got crit again, you go straight to dying four, mm. game over, well, this is why, no bottle cap. This is why, if you remember, I Brother Ramius goes over and leaves her to start rolling recovery checks, knowing she has a bottle cap and heals Lucky. Yeah. Right. Because as long as there's an enemy combatant near you, it's very dangerous to bring you back up. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Because you're wounded, and if they see you as a threat, they put you down, your dying condition increases greatly and you're at more risk of dying than you were if you were just sitting and dying too, you know? Are you so, calling Skid an idiot? Is that what you're that? saying? No, because when Skid oh. did Skid, it, you were- sit here and I think he's calling me like an idiot. Skid had just killed the enemy that was right yeah. next to her. Yeah. So there was no threat around her at the yeah. time. Sorry. Or shooting you shouldn't as soon be talking as I got up. Like that. No, they I also heard a little bit that Joe is a genius. It seems like everything sort of turned back into that. <laughs> guys, guys, stop. Please. It's, I think it's not Joe is the deal. villain. Yeah. Good job, Joe. <laughs> guys, please. You're embarrassing Woo! me. Of this season. Great work. Embarrassing me. Uh, love you, Nish. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's hairy though and i told you this was going to be like welcome to gay walkers it, it is nasty straight out the gate and we've been playing strange aeons that has been converted from first to second edition and feeling sort of the growing pains of that in a uh, an adventure that wasn't specifically written for it this is specifically written for 2e and it still hits yeah. hard yeah um but now we have a cleric we have some other healing and maybe some battle medicine let's see if they can survive because we ain't out of the woods yet. We'll be right back after this break. 
and you missed Kate coughing. <laughs> I don't really tickle. She I just, really I saved it up. Breathed it the, in a little bit in my own spit. <laughs> it was like right oh. when I said, it's we'll worst. be back. She You've just went, never? I don't have spit in my gross. mouth. It's not gross. You don't have that, spit in your mouth? <laughs> your no. mouth is that dry? That is that not what I'm gross. hearing in the mic right now. Joey, I'm Joey is too good a player at Pathfinder to have spit in his mouth. Exactly. <laughs> I know too much about tactics. Halitosis? Give spit dry mouth? mouth? What's that? Nothing. <laughs> you guys use um, mouthwash? Yes. yes. No. Yeah. Occasionally, not routinely. When I remember to buy it, I feel like I mm. always run out of it constantly. Yeah. Yeah. I'll get way into it right after a dentist appointment. I'll have the mouthwash. And then once it runs out, I wait till the next dentist appointment. I'm like, I should get another bottle of that. My dentist has never told me to use mouthwash. Have they told you to not use mouthwash? No. I just, I don't use it. And they're never like, you should start using mouthwash. Do they tell you to floss? Teeth. Well, yeah, I floss. Do you go to a, a human dentist? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do you guys go to human dentists? <laughs> I go to a half elf. Sorry, wait, yeah, because I the aliens are here. You mean, and I go to an alien. Is this a, do you mean a dentist that is a human or a dentist that treats, treats animals? Let yeah. Kate answer. <laughs> Can you clarify the question? Because I might be going to the wrong dentist. Uh, yeah, I imagine it's some weird country dentist that hasn't heard of mouthwash yet. Yeah, no, treat, like, it is a dentist stuff. that hasn't gotten a bunch of money from a mouth. Oh, how dare oh, you? That's you think it's all about the money. That's all the toothpaste is. <laughs> <laughs> I think the healthcare system is all about the money. Yes, it is. <laughs> Troy, by the way, I haven't I've been meaning to compliment you on your hat. Oh, you like that? Yeah. yeah. You know, we sell this on uh, oh glasscannonetwork.com slash store. <laughs> really? <laughs> this fucking thing right here. You can buy it at our store. Might only be a couple left. I'd grab mine right now. <laughs> That's such a <laughs> <laughs> Let's play the game, please. I'm yeah. going to make a hat that just says GM, and I'm oh. going to make it like a styly GM hat, and we'll sell those, too. That's fun. And then maybe we could make a hat that says Joe. Yeah. <laughs> sell a couple of those. Uh, no, because then we'll get all in competition. Like, whose hat's selling the most? Well, no, we, we just won't talk there about is, it. Let's make a pact right now that we can never wear our own name. And we'll- Oh, that's why fine. Why not? And we'll and stay confusing. friends forever. <laughs> No matter what. And yeah, 10 years from now, we'll meet here in this spot. <laughs> this very spot. Wearing each other's hats. Yep. Tonight's the anniversary. Mary Lou on Blood of the Wild uh -huh. has a hat that just says Mary Lou. That's awesome. <laughs> she does. Her friend bought it for her at like a flea market. What? <laughs> there was just a hat that said Mary Lou. And she wears it all the and time? She, well, not all the time, but her friend was like, called her, was like, there's a hat. That just has your name on it. It wasn't like a, uh, uh, you know, like something you would see at like the boardwalk or something like that, where it's just like all the names, you know what I mean, stacked up next to each other. It was like this stylish, weird hat that just said Mary Lou. There's like no other names around. That's magical. Very strange. Yeah. It's you know what we have to do awesome. is have hats that are like styled to the person. Like yours would be a beret that says Matthew in cursive. <laughs> <laughs> Skids would be I'm like, off to my writing loud. Skids would be a bucket hat, maybe. Something fun like that. Yeah. Joe's with could like be, fishing lures on Yeah, it. with like, yeah. Yours could be like a uh, poker dealer's visor. <laughs> Yeah, green, Joe green visor. Jeep. Okay, us, cowboy us. Cowboy. What are ours? What are ours? Can I have a fuck? Can, can I have a please cowboy, cowboy hat? Please cowboy hat. What was the please cowboy hat? Um, cowboy hat? I feel like yours is... A bandana. It's a bandana. <laughs> it's like oh, a kerchief. I thought, I thought you were going to say a beanie. <laughs> it's a oh. What's Kate's? Mine. What's mine? Um, remember those UFC shirts that look, they were like really obnoxious. They were covered in like lots of designs. Are you looking at Kate as you're asking that question? I'm trying, but I'm not saying remember you're obnoxious. I do watch like fight. But what was the, oh, uh, the, they, the, they had shirts. They were a certain thing. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? No. You're going to need to give us a little didn't more say anything. Rash guards? Shirts no. that were obnoxious <laughs> and a certain thing is, are the inform is the information I have right now. Oh, they were like, all the fighters would wear them to the ring. They but had we're talking about hats. Yeah, but the, the anyways, your hat would look like that. It would just be like covered in graffiti. I think it would be really loud. Oh, so like a hat that's like covered in pins or whatever. I already have a hat. Not like pins, that. just like lots of designs. Huh. Yeah, I think it would look really cool. Like a Dan Flash's hat. I think you have a cool goth hat that has like yeah. piercings in the brim. It would brim. be like a witch hat. Yeah. Oh, oh like a pointy witch. hat. Yes. That'd be fun. Wrong. Witch hat was the answer. Witch hat. And cowboy hat was my answer. You get a kerchief and you like it. Like a pink cowboy hat. Can I petition yeah. for a yeah. flat cap? Cute one. Hmm. I'll take it in consideration <laughs> after the berets sell out. Let's talk about this fight because it ain't over. You it's have over. <laughs> murdered two of these rebel oak stewards. However, Lucky did let loose a sacrificial unicorn that came bounding off of its altar to uh, plow into Lucky. Luckily, oddly enough, uh, it wasn't 
more than 20 feet away. Otherwise, that would have been crazy damage. However, it then turned its attention to the oak steward that it is now standing right next to and delivered a devastating blow, uh, which was then soon followed thereafter by an arrow from Zephyr. And as the other oak stewards fall, she puts up her hands and begins to back away. It's her turn. So knowing that this uh, unicorn is out of its mind and attacking anyone, uh, it will, uh, she will step, step, and then move 25 feet back. You dig? To not uh, incur an attack of opportunity. So she slides all the way back. Hell, she might even be escaping one of those like, please, please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. Please don't run, 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 run into the forest. Uh, let's go to the top of round four. There is still a unicorn to be dealt with. Or the Ramius. Uh, seeing Zephyr come back from her unconscious state, he is relieved, uh, very relieved. Um, he's going to say, The Oak Steward running into the dark. Catch him! Catch him! He desperately wants to question this guy. Girl. Girl? Yeah. Girl. It was girl. Um, we just learned that. But, man. But the unicorn is a threat that stands between him, and he can't see. I mean, his light only extends out 40 feet. That um, oak steward is gone, as far as he's concerned. Oh, right. So, it's just a pool to you. Yeah. So on, on Foundry, it's just a pool. I can kind of hear. I can, it represents me hearing go, it go, her going in the distance. He will attempt to... Yeah, I don't know what to do here with this unicorn. Uh, I am going to do a knowledge check on the unicorn, okay. and I am going to use scholarly recollection. Ah. I'm going to. What does that do? Uh, it is uh, the ability that is um, of my focus spell that comes innately from my from Gruhasta. You attempt. I can trigger it whenever I attempt a perception check to seek or attempt a skill check to recall knowledge with a skill you're trained in. So I'm going to do a nature check about unicorns to see if I can remember anything. And because I can use scholarly recollection, I'll roll twice and take the better. Fun result. Nice. Uh, okay. So let's see what we get. Two d twenties. That is an eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. You can see this unicorn in the light. You could see it when you rolled up before you cast light because it was bathed in those uh, torches um, that were surrounding it. There is something wrong with it, obviously. It doesn't look like it's just afraid. It looks like it may be under some sort of influence. It's like foaming at the mouth. Okay. You feel like, sure, you could maybe attack it enough and it would run away, but maybe you could use like your knowledge of nature to... Rand animal command it or just like get it to run off okay or command it against the oak steward but it sounds like you want to try and keep them alive yeah um he might right, be fine he's difficult. going to step forward gets up off of his knees flavor get up uh one action <laughs> damn it <laughs> flavor. <laughs> now that zephyr's fine uh and He's going to slowly walk about 10 feet toward the creature. He's got this big, heavy backpack of books on and both hands just up in the air. And he's going to be like, flee, creature. You're free. You are free of the spell. Whatever they've done, there is no need to fear. You are, you are on your own now. And uh, he will, yeah, try to use it to command an animal. So... Uh, I believe that is actually nature. I, nature? Is it a nature check yeah, or not a diplomacy? What is your nature bonus? Uh, plus seven. Okay. There you so go. Do you want to wow. roll it? Uh, no, I want you to roll it. Okay. I want. Uh, the fate yeah, the binary. results should be obvious. <laughs> 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 All right. So he's going to stride forward and try to get this thing to calm down and go away. Uh, that is a fifteen. Fifteen. <laughs> it's looking, looking. It seems like you're on the right track, but you don't know if you were uh, strong enough to right, command. So he's just going to hold his hand back to everybody else and just be like, "It's it's <laughs> under some sort of spell. Just try to try to get it to calm down, to, to speak with it. Use your knowledge of nature to change its mind." <laughs> <laughs> now this is turn. It is your turn now. We obviously we're using a lot of new tools here. We're using. I, I got so excited after Kate coughed. I forgot to mention Demi Plane. Foundry VTT and Norse Foundry are sponsors. So many new tools we're working with here, and so we are forgetting a couple things. And you were missing some damage on uh, one of your attacks, right? Yeah. So as a first, I remember from character creation, but I've since forgotten it. But the character. Uh 
first level Mesh Creator ability, Strategic Strike, that when you use your Intelligence modifier on it and use a, uh, uh, a uh, device of Stratagem and you hit using your Intelligence modifier, you add an extra T6. Oh, huge. And it scales as you level up. But yeah, so I've been... That's great. It's, I'm just stupid. Joe, why weren't you an investigator? <laughs> I was like, you would have had a lot of fun with it. <laughs> um, all right, so Talitha, as much as she wants to help get this this uh, unicorn off, she is more concerned with the oak steward that's, that might be fleeing. So okay. Talitha is going to use uh, the final surge action of her Drakeheart mutagen. Amazing. Which is a one action. Basically, it ends the effect of the mutagen, mutagen early, and you stride twice for one action. Okay, wow. now... Where are you? Oh, yeah, you're good. Now, just be careful about getting within range of a large unicorn. I'm going around I'm going around to the west, so I'm going to go around. Right. And I have pre-measured, and it gets me right here on one action, so I am just about 10 feet away from the, oh, man. From wow. the oak steward. So to Brother Ramius, he just sees Talitha just disappear into, into the darkness. Her, her skin just starts to, like, it, it, like, it merges again. The scales disappear and fade away, and she, all of a sudden she moves with preternatural speed. And I, yeah, I get up. Up there, that's action one. Action two is I'll stride again to block his exit. Amazing. So and brave. Say, and point my rapier at him and say, we would like a few words with you. No cast, no no funny business, no casting, no weapons on the ground. Now, you, hands on the ground, go. I am outnumbered. Have mercy. She says, on your knees. It's not my turn. <laughs> that's an action. <laughs> <laughs> I will consider it in the next six seconds. You can't just make up what we do. I, I'm strongly considering it. Um, and it's two actions. Yeah, I can't write anything. Okay, okay, so I will use my final action to... I'll try to intimidate him. Yeah? Uh, you know what? I, I, I'm gonna, I'll use diplomacy. Yeah, diplomacy or demoralize. Yeah, either way. I'll use diplomacy. I'll say, you know... If you if you agree to our terms and you and you and you surrender, we shall let you live. I like this. You know, role playing's all all well and good, but let's roll some dice. You might have natural one. She left. Nineteen. All right. <laughs> wow. She's wow. like, what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. You drive a hot wagon. <laughs> all right. Uh, lucky. Uh, there is still this horrible unicorn. You know that it is new, going to act next, yep. and it still looks out of its mind. You were the one that set it free. What can you do? Not a lot. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna also run up uh, to help Talitha with this dude, but I am worried about this unicorn trying to attack Zephyr or anybody else down here. And I Brother don't... Ramius, by the way, is 20 feet away. Oh God. Ramius just got his hand up shaking. Partially responsible. It's like Jurassic World. Um, <laughs> yes, it is exactly like that. Yeah, I think. <laughs> uh, Lucky also moves up in front of Brother Ramius too, next to this dead oak steward body, also trying to so with two blades in her hand. With two blades in her hand. Bloody blades. Load. They're low at the ground. Oh, Nick fangs low. out. Fangs in. Fangs in. <laughs> And she just screaming at the unicorn. <laughs> eyes normal, or do you still have cat eyes? Are you eyes? hissing? Why she still has play? cat eyes. She's a cat. Well, then it's going to kill you. <laughs> right, so you approach the unicorn menacingly with two bloody blades. And plans. she would like to. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. She would like to bow her head to the unicorn and would also like to do um, diplomacy or nature. Let's do nature. All right. No, I have try. nothing in nature, but I am just trying to get it to leave peacefully. I don't yeah. want to fight this unicorn. Okay, it's a 14. 14. <laughs> you're, not, you're not getting through to it. This is not your specialty, but you are bravely providing okay, yourself as a shield action, for Brother Ramius. Last action, intimidating glare. Okay. And she would like to try to... Scare it, it away. Scare it, scare it yeah. Demoral and I think she, like, you know, her haunches, her fur is up now, and seeing that it's still freaking out, she too is like, Aah! and just tries to, like, yowl at it to get it to run off. Okay, this is a purely mechanical role here. Uh, I have the DC. It is the will DC of the unicorn. If you succeed, it's frightened one. Critical success, frightened two. And I'll interpret what frightened means. It might mean that it may not attack you, but it might attack somebody else. Aah! Oh, God. I gently trot around you and murder Brother Ramey. Right, pardon me? Nat 20. Oh! oh you did get the critical success! God! With a plus four. <laughs> yes! Yes, dude! 
Critical success with a plus four. Amazing. Uh, the unicorn uh, is petrified and runs away. Yeah! yeah. Yes. Runs away into the woods and will yes. power. soon be killed by a. Man, I really guy. wanted to help that dumb unicorn. You did. Did you save its life? life. It, it save might its have. Life. Yeah, that's true. Its, its horn was like was flapping next. off its head. Oh, oh, oh. Troy. Right. You just, we could follow the trail of unicorn blood if you'd like through the night. Certainly you'll find it. You'll find it. You'll eventually you'll find its corpse. Forget it. It'll die less than a mile away. <laughs> From the blood loss. So oh, uh, that's uh, that's my whole turn. That's your whole turn. All right, Talitha has moved up there and uh, given the Oak Steward an ultimatum. I'm going to stay in initiative order here. It seems like you have everything in hand, but I'm just curious what everybody else wants to do. Buggles. So Buggles, like he comes out of this state from his unleashed unleashed psyche, and it's like this swirling aura, kind of like whoom, like vanishes. His eyes like go dark again, and he's like shaking, like he's been hit in the face with a frying pan, <laughs> and like a Kate Blanchett after she comes out of her speech in uh, uh, Two Tower. Wait, it's Two Tower? No, it's uh, Fellowship. After she was hit uh, with a frying pan. After she got hit by a frying <laughs> pan. That classic scene straight out of Tolkien. That was a blooper. Uh, <laughs> right from the book. <laughs> so, and, so he's like he's mechanically stupefied. One, he's like kind of like oh dizzy. really? Yeah. So he is, uh, and he's just kind of like taking, taking uh, the stock of like what's going on now, and he quickly assesses the situation, and he's just like, uh, uh, and it's a d -d 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 starts running up towards the druid uh, to back up, uh, to back up his friend. I love it, all right? I've thrown the old stupefied condition on you, even though, uh, just because it looks cool. Uh, I love it, all the little images for the conditions on Foundry, like this one is just your head surrounded by other heads. That's cool. Oh, that's fun. Uh, all right, uh, Zephyr, wounded too, a crit away from permadeath. Brother Ramius and Lucky are your shield. What do you do? My shield from the guy surrendering? Or if maybe the unicorn comes back. Maybe the unicorn comes back? Maybe the Gorgas are out. What do you do? Um, I mean, I'm assuming we're all going to run over to where the uh, uh, only standing uh, Oak Steward is. Seems to be what your so allies are doing. So that's what I'm going to do. All right, so you triple move up to the Oak Steward to surround her. Let me make my way over there on Foundry. Oh, wrong thing. <laughs> Hold on. No, I totally know how to use this. <laughs> Here we go. There we go. There we go, nice and smooth. Nice. Look at that. Whoop, whoop. You get up there and she realizes there's no escape and she just saw you annihilate uh, her friends, what you did in one fell swoop, dragging the Kopesh in and out and then wakazashiing off the head. She falls to her knees. Says, please, please have mercy. Are we out of initiative order? You are. <laughs> You're out of I'm combat. I move over there too. Is there anyone else in the area? No, no, none of us at least. What were you doing with the unicorn? It was a ritual. Go on. It was a ritual to, to bring back the obnubulate curse, obviously. She looks a little uncomfortable. Whoa. She's like, we, did, we didn't want to kill a unicorn, but it's, it's, a, it's a, a small sacrifice in the long run. Why would you want to bring back the obnubulate curse? She sort of looks up at you. She hasn't been making eye contact, and she smiles a little, a little bit ruefully towards you. She's like, if you don't already know, then you'll never understand. The curse is the world's way of restoring natural balance. If we had it our way, this curse would affect not only elves, but all who call themselves civilized. Just look. She points at the carnage that you've committed. Her fallen unicorns, the uh, her fallen unicorns, her fallen comrades, the unicorn's blood all over the place on the altar. She's like, do you really think any of us have a right to be here? Look what we do. And bringing back the obnubulate curse, which turns elves to dust, would restore balance is what you're arguing. Yes, yes. It should destroy all those who seek to destroy nature, who put people above the world. People are the world. No, no, there is no world without the trees, without the creatures, without the grass. 
Indeed. We treat it. We treat it poorly. We don't deserve to be here. There, sh- there should be a reset. The way to resetting is not destruction. Uh, that is what all it's harmony. Of, that is what all of you believe. And look how good it's gotten things. Everyone killing each other. There is no harmony, and there never will be. You and your friends are the only ones seeking to murder nature this night. We have to do what we have to do. We do not wish to harm people and yet you or do. things. I take her stab. No! <laughs> you attacked us. We came here looking for one Ol- man. Olan Nagaso. I can, I can take you to him. I'm sure you can. If you spare my life, we can make a deal here. I'm clearly uh, on the losing side. There's no reason to spill more blood, though it is what people like you do. Well, how would sparing you affect the balance of things? Maybe we shouldn't. I will I will move on. I will find another way. No, Zephyr, you have a point. Perhaps the soil would be enriched by your pure blood. Well, you kill me and you will never find Bolan. It's I, your choice. I believe that we would find him without you. We came this far, didn't we? Didn't want us by the arches, but here we are. So you're in league with the Oak Stewards, are you? Look at the way you're dressed. What do you call yourself? We don't have a name for what we are yet, but we are moving on from their ways. Bolan will lead us. There is a new way of doing things, and Bolan, he knows. He has seen things. Then we should like to speak with Bolan. Where is he? I need to be ensured of my safety. We've already done so. Where is he? What's to say that I don't lead you to our hideout and you just kill me? Guarantee a safe passage to Bolan and you shall walk free. One more thing. What about this mask you all are wearing? This old thing? (laughs) I take her mask. No! (laughs) I'm hideous! (laughs) Are we able to, like, see in the dark now if we take it? Uh, yeah, I mean, there's enough. Uh, Brother Ramius is still casting light, as uh, although he's still hanging out over there. Oh, no, you came over. Um, yeah, so you take it off, and it's just a, a, a woman, a human woman. And she's like, no, this is, this is just one way that we're separating ourselves from them. Eventually, we're going to get a whole new outfit. But all <laughs> we could afford was masks. Budgetary concerns. Yes. We're, we're, we're new. It's a new new It's a teething period. We understand. We're workshopping a new look. Right. You really... Let me ask you this. What? Do you like the mask? No. (laughs) No. Apologize to Buggles. Who? This boy. You've really scared him. And I give him the stab. Buggles, this is for you. That's yours now. I take it, and uh, Buggles is... He he takes the staff, and he kind of sidles up uh, behind Lucky, like kind of hiding behind her legs. The staff now, by the way, all the stuff that was growing off of it has receded back into the staff, and it's just a basic staff now. Mm-hmm. Um, so Buggles is hiding behind it. She's like, you would ally yourself with one of them? They are the most vicious of, of Cretans that wreak havoc on animals and nature alike. That's literally what you were doing four minutes ago. Again, we did not want to do that, but... We must do what Bolan says. You've never met this boy. You don't know him. You don't know him at all. I watched him sear my friend to death. After your friend tried to murder each one of us. We were defending ourselves. So were we. Your logic is flawed. We're talking in circles. Take can I put my b- hands down? Yes. The GM is tired. Lucky, can we... <laughs> would, you mind, would you mind searching them? No problem. No. And I... Boop, boop, don't touch me there. Boop, boop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm doing normal stuff. No. Are you doing like a weird search? No, I'm doing normal stuff. <laughs> Stop lingering stuff. on my buttocks. Do- <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing there, please. I'm, you must believe me. I'm simply searching the robes. I'm not doing anything weird. Look. Okay. What's in these robes? You imagine a cat searching you. Uh, yeah. My tail, <laughs> my tail like is like, yeah. like, like, <laughs> like, like while you do it. I'm <laughs> pulling out stuff from your pocket by making biscuits, and my tail is just like flapping you on the leg. <laughs> ah, I'm trying to sleep. Stop. And, and then my butt's in your face, and I circle back around. <laughs> they all had daggers, which are now uh, throughout the forest. Um, but she just has the staff and leather armor and nothing else on her person, which isn't uncommon for a druid. 
I go search the other two bodies. Same thing. Okay. Just a staff and leather armor. And both of those staves have changed as well back to normal staves. Uh, Talitha will take one of the daggers. So you go searching through the forest. Give me several perception checks. <laughs> Perception natural, check natural one. 17. Perception natural check 20. Two. Stop. Stop your wasting Natural seven. Though. You find two of them. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The other one is lost forever. Uh, Are they uh, interesting? The daggers, no. I just, I just wanted that a light weapon. They <laughs> They're dull wooden daggers. Well, Don't. they didn't hit us at all, so. They practice daggers. Uh... No wonder we couldn't cut off the unicorns. Yeah, I, I, I hand one to, bu- I hand the other to, to Buggles. Yeah, Buggles yeah, will gladly take the other. Sharp end out or hilt out? Sheathed. Sheathed. Oh. Fine. I take the sheath off their, off, their, off their dead body. No, my mother made that. What's your name? My name is Corimona. Well, Corimona, it's your lucky day. Is it? Yes, because the majority of us don't want to kill you on the spot. So, why don't you hop on up and lead us where we want to go? It's a, it's a, it's a ways away. Uh, it's an old gnome forest house up in the trees. Here in the Wildwood? Yes, deeper in. I can lead you there, but you will never get in. Bolan will hear you coming and lock the place down tighter than a terrapin sphincter. Are there any other ways in? No. No secret entrance? No. No passageway that's used for garbage, for instance? No, it's, it's the perfect hideout for what we're doing. We've displaced the gnomes that were there and made it our own. Displaced how? I wasn't a part of that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let me get this straight. You want to bring back the Obnobulate Curse to kill elves. You also hate goblins, and you genocided gnomes. We, we want to kill everyone. Quick correction, yes. yes. The Obnobulate Curse is for everyone. Yes, ideally. Lucky, not just elves. Oh, it's not only for elves. It's for elves. No, they'd like to kill everyone. They'd like to kill elves, but they, they want to extend, extend it. Curses, oh, do you want to make the curse bigger? Yes. Juicier. We oh, believe I see. that if that if the ritual had succeeded, shut up, we would Brother have been Ramius. able to kill everyone. Thank you. I didn't understand, and I appreciate the clarification. You, shut up. Well, if there's no way in and no secret entrance that you know of, that you know of, then I suppose it is your responsibility to gain us an audience with Bolan. I will do my best. I forgot your name because I didn't write it down immediately. Could you tell me it again? Corimona. Cor- Corimona. Corimona. One, one of those. Mona. Okay. Corimona. Uh, Are you spelling that? You. K O. Oh, it's with a K. Oh, it's a didn't K. Didn't you take my wallet? I was a Mona. C. K O R I. Mona. I was named after Eric Mona. <laughs> 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 my father was Eric. Corey is Elvin for Eric. Um. <laughs> But uh, can we reach the can we reach the, the fortress on horseback? You can reach it any way you want. Though uh, there are not many pathways, um, but you you should know you are walking into certain death. You may have beat us, but Bolin has twice as many with him, plus new friends, friends you'll never expect. When will he leave the fortress if we can't get in there? What's he doing? Where's he moving? Will he come to the arches? What's the plan? He was waiting for us to return with the ritual complete. And when you don't. He will send more. He will stop at nothing. Bolan is is very wise, and he is he is he has taught us that there is a, there are, there is a different way to look at things than the way that we've always been taught. The Oak Stewards, I I, I joined them long ago, and and I thought them to be uh, to be righteous and 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 on the right side of things. But Bolan has opened my eyes and the eyes of many others, and and you will see. Perhaps perhaps even you will join the cause. Where was the key? The what? The shade wither key. I, I don't know. Sense motive, or I'll roll a perception to see if. Yeah, against seems like. her deception. I will as well. Um, um, if she's lying. 21. 16. She's uh, obviously hiding something. You're obviously hiding something. I. Seems I d- that this would violate the terms of our deal, no? Bolan has it, as far as I know. It was given to him. He has it. I thought he stole it. He did. Whoever did the stealing handed it to him upon retrieving it. This ritual, tonight, let's return to it for a moment. It's over now. What was its intent? Nothing to talk about. If it was successful, what would have happened? We think that it would bring back 
the Abnabulet curse ever since this missing moment. It's disappeared. So as of tonight, it would have returned should your ritual have been successful. And then you go and report this to Bolan. Bolan, yes. And yet the return of the Abnabula curse, something so important, he is not even present at the ritual. He has other things to deal with. He sent us to do it, and he will be very upset that we failed him. That's why you're not going to tell him you failed. You're going to tell him the ritual was a success. I'm going to walk into Bolan's quarters and tell him that? You are. If that is your wish, I can only hope you keep up your end of the bargain and do not betray me like you've betrayed Mother Nature by your mere presence. All right. Um, what else can you tell us about Bolan? Ever since he came out, we... You learned everything you need to know about him from the halfling back. How did you know? Three episodes. How, How did you know, know about that? How did you know that we uh, measure time in episode? I'm caught up on the show. How did you know that we measure time in episode? <laughs> she, she did tell us his whole life story. I watched it live. And, <laughs> and for us, the players. The spies! Spies everywhere! <laughs> in the journal, if you go to the characters and go to Bolon, oh, really? there's some great notes. Oh. So we don't have to remember. I don't have to take my own notes. Who took those notes? Oh, it was They're Matthew. Matthew's notes. My notes. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Sweet. Do you want me to add any? I took notes, too. Sure. Oh, okay. Add him in there. Cool. If you're able, if you can read. <laughs> if you okay. can improve upon the notes. I sure. improved upon the notes. Um, <laughs> that's not, adding the words peep and poop to the notes does not really improve it. <laughs> really? Uh, I'd like to roll sense motive uh, on a different question, uh, which is the question of um, her statements of certain death and the strength of the hideout. Yeah. Uh, and mm. I, I just want to see if she's lying about their numbers and their strength. Yeah. Also, the secret entrance would be the thing to roll. Yeah. You yeah. want me to roll on the secret entrance? Sure. <laughs> I'll join you. <laughs> do. Damn. Track Nothing. Time. Garbage. Um, yeah, he can't tell. 22 on the secret hideout. Secret entrance is other ways in. Question. Yeah, it doesn't seem uh, like she's lying. That doesn't mean there isn't one, but uh, she hasn't been made privy to it. Um, and by, uh, by all counts, it seems like she's being truthful. You'll, you'll never get in. I mean, the que- so the qu- I guess the question is, would, do we think we could gain an, ent- an audience with Bolan? And also, what would it achieve? What was our what were reaction? I believe we would just t- to stop the ritual. So perhaps we take our prisoner and return and report our findings. Don't forget the other part of it was the key. Get Bolan and get the key. Right. Yeah, we were they supposed to get him. All right, so that we have to go to an impossible place so we can't get in and it's all certain death. <laughs> we'll just go there. <laughs> perhaps, perhaps if we were to gain an audience with Bolan, as the way of these things, he would talk to us and perhaps we'd begin to see a bit of the wisdom of his ways and maybe even be tempted to his side before realizing uh, we were out of our right minds and then we'd have some sort of climactic battle in which we could bring him back to Seven Arches Victorious. Coy Mona. Yes? I have a question for you. Yes, what is your name? I'm not telling you. You don't deserve to know. Ah. Fuck. I didn't spit on you. I spit, Fuck. On, the <laughs> I spit on the ground. Right in my eye. I'm allergic to cat. <laughs> I'm allergic to cat. Oh, the net saliva is going to be oh. really bad. Oh, <laughs> your, so your eye just starts to blow up. <laughs> the eye just goes. Why oh. did you do that? Cat <laughs> spit on me. Characters a spit at me. A druid who's allergic to cat then doesn't seem like a work, really workable. Uh, oh, does anyone have an epipen? <laughs> you know that Bolon is a gatewalker. Is that true? That is what I have been told. I did not see him walk through the gate, though I knew those who walked with him. Who haven't returned? The six that were stationed with him that night. And you don't fear him after what he's been through? I mean, I have a a healthy fear, but it is as much awe as fear. He is enlightened by his experience. You know, they say people who have passed through come back different. Oh, he is different. In what ways? Wiser. There are some that say he's been granted new powers as well, but I have not seen them. Damn it. All <laughs> really trying to get info. walked and returned, returned with gifts. And Bolan is sharing the fruits of his new wisdom with us by creating a new society. And soon, Seven Archers will be his, whether you wish it to be or not. 
We'll see about that. I have another strategy. Are you going to spit on me too? No. Not on purpose. Sorry if I have. <laughs> yes. Um, what if we disguise ourselves as these rebel oak stewards? I was thinking that. Uh, and we do an old prisoner, ex- prisoner, prisoner the, swap. The classic yeah. clones, and we come we'll in. Keep, we'll keep prisoner trick. We'll keep prisoner yep. trick. We don't have enough. Joe doesn't like it. We are masters of disguise. Like we've, we've already, already oh, we've already done it. Already done fake it. mustaches, noses, and we've got there. We've got they wear masks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. And there's three total. And the other, the others of us are prisoners. Of and so she's going to act like she's holding us. Like she's not a prisoner. She's or we take her as far. She got she guides us there, and then we Kill take her. her take her robe and tie her to a tree, and we go in ourselves. All right. Well, there's two. I thought like the people that we killed, we take their robes. Yes, definitely. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that too. Joe is saying we, we we would be trusting her not to betray us once we're in the city. I still like feel like we outnumber her. Not oh, in the in, not in the city yeah. or the fortress. She could immediately. Fortress. Fortress. I think uh, you know. Let's like let's we can decide this. We'll confer out of her earshot, and then we'll you know the th- we'll get the. What f- are you guys talking about over there? Shut up! Uh, 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 oh, uh, how, why'd you spit again? <laughs> <laughs> that was a really long spit. <laughs> how did that hit me in the dark? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> uh, Splack. Uh. Um, yeah, and then we can disrobe her and tie her up. And, Whoa! I mean, we'd give we'd <laughs> give her a blanket. <laughs> Just Did you say her. disrobe? Yeah. <laughs> she can keep her intimates. We're not going to take though. We We're literally just taking her robe. We're just taking her robe. And her mask. And her, mask. And her, and her, mask. Mask. And her hat. And, a hat. and her hat. We and can't the, take the, the staff she's though, a because witch. if we take the staff, it won't be the same. Tell us about the staff. Tell us about the staff. What'd you do to it? Cast a spell on it to what? make it more powerful. And what spell? spell? Shillelagh? Shillelagh. Yeah. Oh, classic. Fuck so, uh, love Shillelagh. You'll cast that on us. I don't think we need... It was only like a combat situation, right? Yes. It would be over. Unless you do it, I think we just walk in with the staff. Seconds so before be, we're in yeah. combat. All right, let's get let's take the robes and the hats and the masks and any other equipment they have, and we'll grab them, and then yeah, we'll follow her. Do you know what else you should take? What? A break, quick break. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Places his heel upon the neck of the serpent. For now, the hour is struck. The trumpet has been sounded. The dead shall walk again. The serpent comes, but upon all of them he shall place the mark of the beast. Meanwhile, back at this ritual site, you know what they were intending to do? They were going to rip the horn off, kill the unicorn with its own horn, oh. and then anoint themselves in the unicorn's blood. Wow. And then do what? And walk then through what? The, walk through the gates? Say the and words of the ritual that would bring curse back. comes back. Someone has told them that this was the way. It honestly seems stupid. I don't think that's... Can the- I roll on that? Uh, yeah, sure. Nature or religion to know if this is indeed a, a ritual that could do such a thing. Arcana. In, in, uh, it might be more like occultism, actually. But yeah. You could roll either, though. Oh, occultism. I'll get in on that. Yeah, occultism. Yeah. Like, the way I like to think of it is like occultism might be a lower DC than Arcana. 16 occultism. You don't think that alone would be enough to return a curse, but then again, you don't know the sort of vagaries of this specific curse. Um, but unless that act is tied to how the original curse came about, then it seems a little strange. Like, maybe it's phase one, but then it's, you start thinking, like, hmm, if they're trying to bring back the Abnubula curse, they may know things about this, the uh, the origins of the Abnubula curse, if they're trying to bring it back. Yeah, and I mean, they definitely know more about the gates themselves than we do. I mean, 
even knowing this much. Indeed. And that's part of your, you know, you. this is why Riddleson brought you here. The Obnubula curse being lifted was one of the reasons that made this so alluring. So it's a lot that's of... That's like what Buggles was kind of freaked out about, just thinking about how, like, if this ritual, if this ritual had been successful, like, we're close enough, Zephyr just could have, like, boom, like, turned to dust. Yeah. You know, if we, if we well, hadn't... We all could. It. You could have if they had truly changed it to be for for more than one. You they know, would have, right? Ancestry, yeah. like you would have. Yeah. I would have, maybe as a cat folk. I don't know. I think it's safe to say if that unicorn was tied down for one more round, it probably would have happened. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Imagine if we didn't <laughs> let it go. Yeah, the, the horrible things. Well, it's good then if they were supposed to co- anoint themselves with the blood of the unicorn that the robes of these people are already covered in their own blood and also the blood of the unicorn. This is true. Yeah, it's interesting though because we play a lot of Lovecraftian games. It makes you wonder, like, it, did they think that they would be excluded from this? Yeah. Right. Like, oh, the, the, well, no, the curse could come back, but we'll be saved. Or is it the type of thing like, come on back, Cthulhu, and everyone dies? I'm like, what? I thought we were friends. I brought you back. Can I check the <laughs> other when we take the robes? What are the other two ancestries of those two people? Both human. So everybody was human. Mm-hmm. Huh. Interesting. Certainly no elves, no gnomes, dwarves, halflings. Yeah, they were all human. And all the oak stewards aren't human. Obviously, you met Lemma Feldthorn. Yeah. Uh, and Mulberry. And, Mul- <gasps> and Mulberry, Mulberry was a full oak steward? <laughs> Mulberry was a fav- uh, oak steward in training, like a police dog. <laughs> <laughs> that police dog was way too friendly. They should not be a police dog. <laughs> um, what was the name of the, the, the uh, gnome? Stronghold again? Um, I don't know if she said it, um, but uh, if you ask her, she says it. I think back in the day, it was called uh, the Greenleaf Forest House. Uh, there were gnomes, several groups of gnomes. Years ago, they were exiled from Ornesta, and uh, they petitioned for the right to settle here, deep within the Wildwood. Um, but most of these settlements um, are no longer thriving, and... Bolan said that this was ours, and we did not question him. Um, great. So let's. Um, I'm going to pursue another lead as we're traveling. I want to. I want to ask her to describe for me and give me a map of the interior of the house as we go. I, I'm not allowed to go into every single room, but I will. I, I, I will do my best. Right. How many are there? How many rooms? No. How many of your people? How many of my people, I I do not know, Bolan has people going off on several missions just like us. Um, An estimate. At any one time, uh, a dozen or so. And you said Bolan might have new allies. Yes. Can I sense sense motive on the dozen or so? Yeah. Mm, It's it's a six. I don't think that's going to be enough. Yeah. Yeah, but it seems like she was kind of hiding the fact that, yeah, like he's... That's, that's the 12 or so oak stewards that may be there are the least of your worries. He's, he's, he's made other friends. Who are these other friends? I have only seen them in the shadows. Shadow creatures? Mm, no. All, all, all manner of creatures. They're, they're changing by the day. Bolan, again. Changeling? New powers. Stop asking me so many questions. What about the Gorgas? What about the Gorgas? Have you had any encounters with them? Yes. Have they attacked you? Um, initially they did, but now uh, when we run afoul of them, they leave us alone. Do you know why? What changed? I assume Bolan has made an accord with them. As I said, he is quite Poli- powerful. Politician. It's How long not, a journey is it? not my business. The Greenleaf House. 17 weeks. <laughs> what? Oh. Well, then I shall train and level up. <laughs> <laughs> we will fight Gorgas until we're all level two. We'll just uh, let wait. us farm the Gorgas. We'll wait for them to respawn in this one area. Yeah, let's we'll just circle the area. Wait for them to respawn. Um, and I stand really still until they come back. <laughs> uh, I'm assuming you'd want to camp at a certain point, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yep. It's like, uh, if, if we were to uh, camp this evening and leave tomorrow, you could be there possibly to buy tomorrow evening with your um, did you bring the horses no I guess you left they're them. tied up but outside. We, yeah. we'll go back and go get back them. back them you said you had oxen and horses yes by, by tomorrow evening oxen 
All right. We'll we have one. We, we need to eat cart. while on the road. A mule. We have one mule. One mule and three. Did you have an ox cart? Uh, and an ox cart. cart. A mule. An oxen. A mule drawn ox cart. Oh yeah. So let's tie her, let's tie her up and make sure she's secure, and then we'll camp. Put her in the ox cart. Uh, is that a watch? This is no way to sleep. Do some healing. I hate you. <laughs> we all ritualistically spit on her, spit on her sleeping form. Oh, oh, fuck! Everyone spit on her. It's my way. Please, it's my way. It's the way of the people. This is wife. why you deserve to die. <laughs> the way of my people. To ah, all right. Up. Can we <laughs> hand wave the the the, med- the healing? Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, we don't we don't have to do another campfire scene here, but let's just uh, talk about you know we haven't done a, a full night's rest yet. So uh, walk me through the rest. Everybody, I'm assuming, is going to get back to full. We'd have to treat wounds, so, yeah. I mean. Uh, what about? It's not a guarantee. What about at, Zephyr? At all. I'm wounded, too. Yeah, so you uh, yeah, so yeah. treat wounds. wounds. Okay. But you have to succeed at treating wounds. So I will treat wounds on Zephyr. Please succeed. In order to, you know, you're wounded. Come, let us fix this up. Uh, that is a 16, so you're good. No longer wounded, and uh, you will regain five hit points. Cool, 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 cool. Unfortunately, cool, cool. not too much. Uh, Talitha has no more uh, tinctures for the day, but I'll treat wounds on myself and fail. Oh, Natural one. Oh, that. Oh, I lose. I hurt myself. You right? hurt yeah. yourself. Critically what? fail oh. at treat oh, wounds. No. You can't hurt yourself. Oh no, yeah, is Talitha. It, is it one d eight or two d eight? Uh. I don't know. I think it's 1d8 when you hurt yourself, but I actually can, don't know. Can you treat wounds if it you're untrained? It takes 1d8 damage. Untrained oh. in medicine? Brutal. If I have a zero in medicine? No. No. Okay, no. so I can't even. Talitha does seven points of damage. Oh, oh my, my god. god. What did oh you do? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I was like trying to like st- like suture a wound and I just like end up like nicking a, nicking a vein and I'm yeah. like, <laughs> oh god. Oh, I'm like bleeding all over. An old prison help. buddy showed me how to do this. Help. <laughs> uh, yeah, Brother Ramius is going to help Talitha and fails. Oh my god. Wow, she's not Wait, meant to. I go Why back. did we start rolling? Hold I think on. we hand wave this. I go back over <laughs> to Cory Mona. You have a druid, aren't you? Oh, I can't hear you. I'm tied up. Come to spit. <laughs> yeah. uh, stop <laughs> doing that. <laughs> You're a druid, aren't you? Uh, if you would uh, put a label on what I am, then yes, I am a druid. Do you have any healing abilities? We're pretty hurt from your people. No, I can only stabilize. Stop you from going past death's door. I can also cast Ray of Frost. <laughs> if you'd like it? to freeze your dead to bring them back at a future date. Is that it? Light. Anything else? Shillelagh. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? Magic Fang. Magic Fang. That's a fun one. That is a fun one. Yes, but sadly, I, I cannot heal. Okay, I put a towel in her mouth. I just got... <laughs> uh, are you wounded? No, I'm good. I'm back up to full. I'm, I'm good. Buggles, good. Eleven out of nineteen, but not wounded. All right, let's uh, let's do I some got, treat I get wounds. two. Fail. My yeah, constitution so. modifier is one, so this, I get two points from. Rest. It's rough. It's rough. Right. I get it on the second. I get it on the second go round. Oh my gosh. What? Uh, I so I got it on yours, but it's been a couple hours, so it's you know late, late that I get yours. What is it? Uh, it it uh, is nine. Oh, I'm sorry, fourteen points. Oh, there you oh, go. I'm okay. fine now. Awesome. You know, eventually, Thank we can you. do some of this off air, but it's I think it's fun early on to kind of go through the how it's really yeah. Because just the first level, like if you don't have the heal spell, yeah, which I I ran out of. I used uh, all of them I could. It's like. We're not a guaranteed success on their medicine check. Yeah, and also, this is our first time like combating like this as yeah. a group, so we would be kind of like, we wouldn't have anything down as a group. Yeah. A, r- a routine or anything. Yeah, we're still like working out how we... Yeah, like, in wait, fact, what, I think, what can you do? What can you do? Right, and during this time, uh, Brother Amos is going to be like, Buckles, what happened? It's quite impressive. I don't know. It's just something that happens when I'm afraid. Whenever you're afraid, can you control it? I can... I can summon him. Him? Think. Yes. But he comes and goes. It's... It's... Strange. Buckles, you were really, really brave out there. We would have been dead if not for you, Buckles. I would have been. I'm just so glad you're still all here. And you, Lucky, 
I've never seen anyone do anything like that to anyone. I'm sorry if it scared you. It was... It's kind of gross and scary, but at least that horrible unicorn is gone. I'm sorry that I let the unicorn go, but it's a magical creature, Buggles. You you can't keep creatures like that tied up. You of all people should understand. Well, I suppose. It's wrong. I'm just... I don't know. I'm just so glad that I'm with you. Thank you. Yes, we feel very lucky to have you with us. Lucky. No. I can't always be there. I appreciate all of you for for fighting you, Zephyr. You were amazing. I didn't know you could shoot like that. Are you all right, by the way? Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm feeling better now. That was that was scary for a minute, but then I heard Buggles' voice in my head. I heard that what? too. And I woke up. Did you hear it too? Yeah. You healed me, Buggles. I forgot about that. I could feel your pain. I think I reached out to trying to help. Did it help? Yeah, I I was I was going to, to, towards the light and then I woke up hearing your voice. Oh good. Some good can come out of it. You're a magical little guy, Buggles. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I love Buggles! <laughs> <laughs> <You> love <them. laughs> uh-huh. Fighting the urge I to know, pick I him just up. Want to squeal. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, if we're all done chatting, I'm gonna, so to speak, hit the hay. Yes, yes. Going to rest as well. Buggles, do you mind if I maybe try to help you relax? I want to try to like help you maybe meditate or something. Got some weed. Oh, yes. <laughs> Not like that. <laughs> I didn't say that. I, I look at you because uh, you we relax. know you smoke tobacco at least. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Brother Ramus, does he walk off to smoke? No, shit? I think I no, I think he smokes uh, some some latria leaf, some like just regular tobacco. Oh, okay. <laughs> Is that latria lights? Latria, latria <laughs> leaf, <laughs> latria leaf, menthols. <laughs> yes, <laughs> latria lights. Latria lights. <laughs> They're Latria really lights. thin. They're like the thin ones. Virginia's Latria Slims. Latria Slims. <laughs> Come a long way, baby. Come a long way, baby. <laughs> so dainty. Don't but imagine. I wanted to try to like share some like uh, useful things that I learned. Yeah, being that's what, yeah. Buggles is anxious like, or afraid. I don't think I can it do what you practice. do. It takes practice. It's not going to be a cure immediately, but maybe it'll help you sometimes if you remember. I can try. I don't think I can do it like you do it. Here, let's sit with me. Okay. And we hold hands, and I tell you to breathe in and out. Try to empty your mind. Everything's okay. Everything will be what it is. You can't control it. More words that are nice, probably, and... (laughs) You know, I fall asleep to your maybe a fade out. Voice. We all fall yeah. asleep. Yeah, to yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I, before we fall asleep, uh, Brother Ramius wants to maybe during this meditation session he's going to speak to Talitha. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry, Talitha. I. It was a hectic uh, fight, but I thought I saw something, at the corner of the light, a change in your skin. Ah, yes. And she pulls that. She shows you some of the uh, alchemical components that she'll prepare tomorrow. Something I've been studying and working on. Ways to affect the body, enhance your abilities for a limited amount of time. What is it? What was it? It's called a Drake Heart Mutagen. Drake Heart. Heart. And um, how do you get this recipe? And he seems like weirded out, concerned. <laughs> I read it in a book, of course. What book? Do you have it with you? <laughs> <laughs> well, she, and she shows him her formula book. James Mishner's Hawaii. James Mishner's Hawaii. <laughs> That's a great <laughs> recipe. <laughs> Rick Steve's Zero. For Drake Heart Mutagens. Uh, <laughs> she shows you her formula book. May I? Yes, of course. And uh, he looks through it, and he looks at the Drake Heart formula and sees like what you know goes into making it. Uh, and it's just like fascinating. Yes, I've been working on a few others as well. The elixir of life that I gave you yesterday. That comes from, that's a recipe I found enhanced a little bit, I might, I, I might say, myself. If it infuses you with the power of the drake, what, 
What does that do? She it gives the book back to you. It, thank you. It gives, uh, makes my skin harden, give it a scaly feel so that it protects me, a bit of natural armor against attacks. And also, uh, it also uh, it does decrease my ability to react quickly and think as clearly as I, I do. But it's only for a minute that it lasts. So you become stronger, but weaker of mind. Yes. If I check my formula book, yes, I take a... It would, in game terms, I describe to you that I take a minus one penalty to will saves, reflex saves, and all skill checks to recall knowledge. Hmm. Huh. Wow. To become a little clumsy, too. or yeah. like Kind of like drunk, almost. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Like impaired from... It's, a, it's definitely... Sure it's not a drunk heart? Drunk heart. 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 That's funny. That's good. Yeah. I and thought then, this was America. <laughs> uh, I also get a bonus on uh, perception checks. Hence, is my eyesight. Has oh, like that of a Drake. Wood. Yes. I. Sorry. If, I don't mean to pry. I just have. Would you like to try some? Yes. Tomorrow, I shall offer you some. Hey, I should warn you; it does dull the mind a bit. I have had many dreams of late of dragons and I can't explain why I've told no one this so the rest is done <laughs> okay <laughs> but I feel a strange connection to them though I've never met one not that I know I've never even seen one but they've become begun to appear in my dreams. Dragons. Dragons. All kinds. We've discussed at this point surely what you would have seen in the in the Ayudara, right? No. What did you see in the Ayudara, Brother Ramius? <laughs> I don't recall. I'm gonna do a perception check on that. Mm. <laughs> Natural 18. Oh, uh, you right. could tell that he's dodging. Yeah. I let it go for now. Mm. For now. And then he will get some rest and yeah. recoup his spells. I'll met all others at Drake Hart Mutagen tomorrow with your name on it. Oof. Thank you. Unless we get into a real pickle. I should like to experiment. Thank you. Of course. Um, okay. Uh... <laughs> Amazing. Laying on my own paw. <laughs> so everybody goes to sleep, and we just see Corimona tied up in the back of the ox cart. Just like a look on her face of anger. We black out. Come back up on the next day, all of you traveling. Is she still tied up, or are you walking her at knife point? Her back, back of the cart. Back of the cart. No, I think that she could walk with us unless we're saying nobody's walking, right? We're all right. Yeah, so she's back of the cart with, with buggles, but unarmed. Hands, hands tied up. Yeah, yeah. not yeah. uncomfortably, not like hog tied, but like hands yeah. tied and feet bound. And bound to the cart, so she can't just like hop off the back yeah. and run. Yeah. And buggles, do you mind riding with her? Uh, no, no, it's fine. <laughs> Better than riding on a horse with one of us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's there. way less frightening. All right, so she's back there with you while it's bumping along in the cart. And she's just like watching you. Buggles just keeps, like, he feels her eyes on him. He just keeps, like, glancing over. He's just like, she's still looking at me. What does the, uh, Brother uh, Remus is driving the ox cart? What is the core of, uh... <laughs> <Let's> get out. <laughs> Stop, please! Stop! <laughs> Stop the cart! <laughs> off into the woods. I don't want to roleplay with you anymore. <laughs> Buggles just runs into the woods. <laughs> Running off into the forest. <laughs> The core of Bolan's ethos. Um, is it the the uh, domination of all nature and those that appreciate it over all civilized people? Is that... And did it begin after he walked through the gate? One cannot dominate nature. That is the problem. That is the problem that we are trying to correct. You, you understand nothing, sir. You misunderstand me. The domination of nature over all civilized people. Yes? Nature first. Nature first. 
Indeed, it is a very strong philosophy, and it would gather very, very many supporters, I would assume. Yes, they are flocking by the day. Did he have any of these philosophies uh, before he walked through the gate that you're aware of? We weren't particularly close uh, before that fateful night. Um, but uh, he always uh, marched to his own beat, as it were, uh, much to the Oak Steward's uh, discomfort. He did not always see eye to eye. Um, but uh, when he returned, I think a lot of us began to see that he was on the side of right and not our so-called superiors. Which goes back to looking at Buggles. When he preaches, does he speak of what he saw beyond the gate? Or does he say he saw nothing? <laughs> if, if he knows, he has not said. It is not my business. I am but I simply servant. asked if he preaches about it. He does not speak of it. <laughs> no. <laughs> Skid has put his actual blazer over his head and covered his eyes. A la, a la Buggles with his hood up. <laughs> so cute. She leans into Buggles. She's like, so how long until you turn on them? Clearly you've cast some sort of spell to trick them into trusting you. How long until you unleash your powers against them? Your kind is not to be trusted. And Buggles can't summon a response. He, he, like, he wants so badly to say, like, this would, I would never do that. I would never betray my friends. Mm -hmm. But the words won't come. And he just, like, like, he moves, makes his, his mouth moves as if he wants to speak, but he, he can't. And he just, like, pulls his, his hood up tighter and just looks down at the bottom of the cart. She just leans in. You are the height of unnatural and will be the first to go. Awful. We spit on her. Ah. <laughs> you don't hear me? Lucky <laughs> loops around. You chopping shit back there. Lucky loops her on the back and spits over and she rides. <laughs> her face is like all well from <laughs> being puffed Just out. Just glistening with spit. It's got a little, uh. it's got a little weird, this bit. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, is the plan here? Let's assume that she is being truthful, and we'll find out if she is, that you will reach there by uh, the end of the day. Uh, you also could decide, you know what, let's camp and go there in the morning. You tell me what you want to do, um, but then tell me what the plan is. I'd rather camp and go there in the morning. I would too, and I think that if we are going to do the Wookiee prisoner trick, that Lucky and I should probably pose the prisoners, since they seem to be racist against non-humans anyway. Yeah. So right. it would make more sense if the humans in the group are human, more human-like, wear the mask and everything. So we would be the prisoners. Um, and then, but I, I, either way, I mean, we we hopefully have a chance to like case the joint a little bit before we do anything. Yeah, maybe Lucky, you and I can do a little. Uh, I can do a little pursue a lead. Yeah, I'm already doing that already. But that might, and then we can, um, then just see if we can stealth up and just kind of get reconnaissance. Yeah, a little, yeah, a little recon. recon, a little recon. So yeah, we want to get to a, a safe distance, but where we, you know, can sort of see it or whatever. Are there stop. We ask if there are patrols. Yeah. yeah. Like a few yards away or a few, how, how, how far away? I was thinking like you know, half a mile. Half a mile, okay. Yeah. Whatever, does, I don't know if there's a, if there's high ground. There's you know trees, I mean? yeah, yeah. Is Jesus. there a place that we can surveil it? <laughs> she says they are in the trees. It is a, uh, a, 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 a fortification that was built above and Bolan has made some improvements. There is only one staircase in. Well, I'd love to uh, get some exercise and do some climbing. Um, maybe if we find somewhere to camp, we can take shifts going out, seeing if we can, scout. you know, observe anything. Scout. Go in pairs. Don't go alone. Yeah. I can't. I'm not going to be much uh, much for climbing, but uh, if you nor I. I could teach you. I can climb. I'm a cat. <laughs> we know. Um, all right. So we'll we'll camp another night. Okay. So camp another night. Um, anybody do anything special worth noting, or you're just you're Should resting up? Zephyr through. and uh, Lucky Scout a bit. Yeah, well, you wanted to, yeah. No, you guys would be like well, if there's climbing. climbing involved. You okay. guys, okay. you're both very. I'm I'm only decently stealthy, but I bet the two of you are very. Stealthy. I think you two should just go. 
So you probably travel because you yeah. can also see. Yeah. Like I can't can't see anything. Let's say you follow her directions to the point where you're like, we're gonna go as far as we can yeah. without being in their range and camp, and then send out scouts at night. Yeah, it's kind yeah. of fun. That's the idea. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. So, Lucky and Zephyr, you leave the camp. We see the campfire behind you as the two of you skulk into the night. Talk to me. What do you do? I think the plan is to, because they have the high ground, is to find a tree that keeps at enough distance that we are just going to climb as high as we can go to see if we can see somewhat of their layout. Like, do that, travel, you know, a few yards to the west, to the east. Do it, do it, you know, just try to gain some sort of, like, Sur- perimeter, Aaron's parameter of it, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you move up ahead, like uh, maybe a mile or so from camp. We'll say make a good distance away, and you're going to try and climb a tree to see if you see anything. Yep. All right. Um, I'm not going to have any roll any climb checks because if you fail, you're not going to really hurt yourself. But uh, you get up, you get up, you get up, you get up, and you start looking. Uh, let's get some perception checks. Woo, woo, woo. I was excited to roll climb because I am I'm so, really, f- so fit. Really good at climbing. <laughs> Ooh, so I got a 17. I got 15. Okay. You see further up ahead, like a clearing with um, buildings that are suspended in the trees. Ewok village. Almost like Lothlorien. Oh, it's yeah, even cool. better. It's like way better. Oh, all <laughs> these uh, little, all these brightly painted wooden houses just like hanging in the trees with little bridges connecting them. Um, and some of the structures are several stories tall. Um, looks like there's a gazebo as well that may be suspended and a, uh, a small canvas windmill spinning. <laughs> Off of a uh, tower, towards the the far north end, you're you're coming from the south up on this, and uh, as you stand and look, you could swear you see like people walking on the bridges, just surveying, looking over the forest below. Wow, so whimsical. So this was like a gnome, like fortress or whatever. Like, do they fit? On the bridges and stuff? <laughs> yeah, um, it was definitely built for gnomes, but uh, it doesn't look like anyone's uncomfortable as they're moving right now. There's still little dots. You're about maybe, you're looking about half a mile away, maybe. You know, it's funny. It sounds kind of like, I think the, the Dragonlance Chronicles, the first book, Dragons of Autumn. Twilight. Dragons of, yeah, it opens up in a similar kind of location, mm-hmm. you know, the, the yeah. that they go to. It is so whimsical. I love it. Yeah, it's really cool. Um, is there any way from where we are now to see that entrance that Corimona was talking about, the staircase? Um, from where you're looking, it does look like um, there's a, uh, the building that is the furthest south has some sort of way to get up into it. It must be a staircase. It kind of winds around and goes up to the first landing. It's, it's still pretty far away and you're, you're looking through trees as well, but yeah, you see a whole like village that has been taken over. What do you think, Zephyr? Go to the east, go to the west, check another entrance spot, head back? Um, maybe that, like, that north building with the windmill mm. seems like the most important building. Yeah, let's take the long way around. Let me go far north. Check more with that. All right, so you go deeper into the night, deeper into the darkness. From time to time you hear growls. Oh no. Beasts. Is it a bear? Is it a wolf? Is it a gorga? Can they climb trees? <laughs> can they climb trees? Are climb you guys bounding from tree to tree? I imagine you went down to the ground, right? If uh, we're able to go across, I not. feel like we could. <laughs> it's not uh, crouching tiger, hidden dragon. So cool. Cool. So I was literally thinking that. I'm like, we stand on a branch and the whole tree bends. <laughs> it's a fantasy show, but it's not that fantasy. <laughs> it's not that fantasy. <laughs> Damn it. So you come My down fantasy. and you're just moving through the trees. And yeah, you do get this uneasy feeling. You're not walking on a pathway. You hear things time to time if you stop to listen you feel things grasping at you and turn it's just a vine oh. the vine's alive no it's just late you've been traveling 
you keep moving and you now see the lights of all these little buildings casting a, a faint glow on the forest, forest floor below and you make your way around the outskirt of this clearing over to where you think the tower is because now as you look up it's harder to kind of see where everything is you don't have the same bird's eye view that you did but you see that all of the trees that are supporting the buildings have been uh, like cleared of branches and there are these spikes stuck in them at odd intervals every single tree leading up and they they all glisten the bark glistens as well with sap maybe sap maybe something else just so non this is so anti-druid like this behavior is very non metal metal spikes yeah are they metal spikes no they aren't uh they don't look metal um so it's not but they're yeah they're they're certainly not meant to be there um and you realize like client Climbing the trees would be very, very tricky. If you were to fall, you'd, you'd be impaled on some of these spikes. Um, so you also look across. It's funny you say that. Maybe I'm not picturing it right because the way you were saying it, it sounded like the, it was made for climbing. No, no. They're, like they're, they're not they're, like handholds going all the way up? Yeah, it's not like you can grab one and then grab the next one. You could climb the tree, but if you were to slip, they're positioned in such a way that like, they're like be a roll of the oh, dice. Jagged, to catch on one. Oh, jagged spikes. Yeah, they're they're like, jagged spikes. Sticking and there. they're not reachable. Yeah, they're not. It's like when you want to keep squirrels out of your bird feeder. Spikes. Yeah. <laughs> or pigeons off your gutter. Yeah. yeah. And, they, and, the, and the bark glistens in the moonlight. It's like, probably slippery. It's wet. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, so it's a trap. Grease or like, yeah. Tree grease. Now you get a much better view of towards the south. Yeah. Sure enough, a winding staircase that disappears into a landing above. What about this windmill? You can hear it, maybe even see it through some of the branches moving. <laughs> a relic of the gnome village. Has it been repurposed? can't tell. Hmm. I wonder why they kept it. Hmm. So, I'm trying to figure out what else we can try to see, but it seems like that lady was right. <laughs> <laughs> I think it, I think that maybe our best chance is just to hope that our ruse is successful enough that we can just walk up through the stairs and then once we're in then we're gonna we have can, to fight yeah yeah or we can we can maybe like sneak around once we're in but like hopefully we'll just be able to bluff our way like up the stairs maybe best to go in at night then can yeah. we do like a quick check of like are there any other ways to get up here that like we're just not seeing just to cover uh, bases now, yeah. yeah now that we're at the north side maybe yeah give me some perception checks you roll now you're much closer. You can get a better, like, real study. Let's there. Uh, go. Meanwhile, back to the uh, campsite. While they're looking, where Brother Ramius is like, your people. Do they all see in the dark? Um, no, the humans do not. There are there are non-human members of your following. But of course, no goblins, though. You could see in the dark. Um, no, there are potions, tinctures you can drink that would give you that power Temporary temporarily. Sessions spells but um it is uh, everything's well lit we're not hiding from anyone excellent you're good excellent. uh your robe we shall need it i, I cannot my my grandmother made this oh my we'll God. return it no you cannot take it from me buckles would you mind uh lighting her on fire lighting her on fire <laughs> <laughs> Kind of shrugs. And <laughs> no, I can take the robe. <laughs> don't burn it. Don't burn it. Uh, all right, sorry. And we Back. give her and we give her something to wear, and then we and we just and her mask and her hat. <laughs> there are guards at the bottom of the staircase, I presume. I do not know. They patrol. <laughs> You're not getting in there. Why not? <laughs> they will see you, Bolan. Bolan probably already sees you. Then Bolan knows we wish to speak with him. I do not know what Bolan wishes. What was your response? What were your instructions to report directly to Bolan? Who do you speak to? I return and 
let them know that the job is done. Who is them? Whoever's manning the... John. The John. <laughs> Whoever's <laughs> manning the first John. I'm, I'm not, Brother uh, Ramius nods uh, knowingly. <laughs> Delith, Delith looks back to the person. Delith is very confused. She looks between Buggles and Brother Ramius. <laughs> Who is sorry, John? John? We'll not explain John. further. <laughs> there is no need. <laughs> <laughs> well, he takes a bite of a hoagie. <laughs> How about them fillies? Yeah. Back. You may wear my eagle's jersey. <laughs> we'll go back. <laughs> I love it's like a village, a treetop village of eagles fans. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, we sounds, truly will not survive. No. It's like the nice 700 level of the vet. That's it's what like, it is. Like, it, will, it will be on fire. It'll be in a constantly week. on fire. Yeah. That's why the trees are all greasy. Yeah, that's greasy. why the trees are all <laughs> greasy. <laughs> it's from the whiz. It's oh, from God, all the greasy. They grease they the, the poles. The fucking trees. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> For those that don't know, they have to grease the traffic lights, the traffic light Stop. poles no. in yes. Philadelphia because the fans when the, when the teams are in a championship game because the they will climb win or lose they will climb them and they will and they will try break. to like rip down the traffic they lights. will rip down like standing lights. It's a city of animals for our uh, international <laughs> viewers and listeners. They light cars don't, on fire. Don't, you don't want to go there. No, don't ever go there. 90% of our don't fan base is Philly. And if, you, and if you happen to be there for PAX Unplugged and you're trying to get dinner at 5, 6 p.m. on a yep. Saturday night, you won't be able Just to. Just go bother. to 7-Eleven. <laughs> Just go to the Wawa. <laughs> Joe once, once quoted as saying, grease up them, Johns. We'll find a way up. <laughs> Let's go back to the... Uh, Zephyr and Lucky, you're looking to see, is there any other way in? What was the result of your perception checks? 18. 14. Okay, good rolls. Uh, it looks like there's just those stairs. They, they, it's heavily fortified, so Coromono is right. Like, it, it's going to be very hard to approach without being seen. <laughs> Is there somebody else that talked to us? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know. I didn't know we knew a Gormono. <laughs> Gormono? I say Gormono. <laughs> Corimono. Corimona. Corimona. Corimono. Domo arigato. Corimono. Domo arigato. Mrs. Corimono. All right, I don't know what to do. Joe well, right, hates. I, I, you hate little, these, uh, these so things. Right. Like, there's nothing we can do. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I just yeah. walk in the front door. Yeah, to go to the front door. Certain death. It's, it's a little dark and it's a little cold. I think we should head back. She yeah. hears a sound behind her. What was it? I don't know. I'm just starting to feel a little weird out here. All right, let's go back. Meanwhile, back at the camp, Talitha is mixing some alchemical uh, components with brother with brother Ramius. Like, you want You want some? You want some of this? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> is Talitha a drug addict? What is going on? Yeah. He's still with the hoagie and he, <laughs> he, he wants to ride the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> he, like, bottoms He's up. Ridden this dragon, yeah. Wash that down with a yingling. Come back to the. <laughs> You mean a lager? <laughs> uh, he drinks the uh, Drake John. Drake Hart Mutagen. The Drake Hart Mutagen. Drake Hart John. And just, yeah. And him and Talitha just across from each other starts to like scale up. Scale up. He's Bonding. just looking at himself. Bonding. Here, punch me. Punch me. Go ahead. And he hears. <laughs> punch me. Come on. I can take it now. I'm not very good at this. And he. Ah! Oh, why? Why would you? Ah! Oh, I didn't mean like that. <laughs> to leave his teeth are on the ground. Give me the ear, man. Have you frightened right the ear? Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, you frightened me. <laughs> and all of a sudden, he hears in his head, "A war is coming." And he freezes. Looks at you. Uh, I want it to stop now. How long till it stops? A minute. Just a minute. Just a minute? Just, just ride it ride it out. Ride it out. And he's sitting there. He's like, I want it to end. <laughs> I want it to end. You look at Talitha and you see Sister Kona, but she looks like a reptile. Oh. And she's reaching out to you. All right. Help. He's just like, be all right. Just hey, breathe. All yeah, you hear is, water. help me. Help me. That's all you hear while Talitha's God. saying that. War is coming. And then you start. he starts to mumble. He's like, what war? What war? Understand. Just out of his mind a little bit. Do not give Brother Ramius drugs. Yeah. Got back to the forest. <laughs> We're walking and Lucky's like, I don't know, I just thought the whole girls night thing was going to be more of an event, but what do you think? I had a good time, but maybe it was too much. I've never really acted before. It felt a little silly. 
Um, I think it was fine. The throw up wasn't too much. That was the best part. <laughs> really? I thought that was pretty cool. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> you like put your whole body into it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I did, didn't I? Yeah. I yeah. mean, we were able to do our measurement because you were doing that. I thought you were talking about like the ladies' night wasn't as fun as you thought it would be. No, I, I had a really good time. Well, I mean, it was fine. It was, uh, it was whatever. I've never actually hung out with people like that to, to like have a night out. Usually I'm alone, get too drunk, Oh. wake up somewhere. I don't, I don't hang out either. Usually. You're kind of a quiet one, aren't you? This is the most amount of people that I've been regularly friends with for a while. Yeah. But weren't you in like a monk school? Don't all monks like yeah. hang out together? I mean, I wasn't really friends with yeah. them. I had like one friend. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it's just that. <laughs> monks, you have that in common. Yeah. I mean, you're all monks there, right? Like, monks, so. You have yeah. one starter topic. I mean, some of them, they're fine. I wasn't really friends with them. Some of them actively weren't my friends. Uh, so oh. Whatever. It's whatever. No, I get it. Hey, fuck them. Yeah. You didn't need them. Yeah. You're better on your own. Hey, you're better with us, right? We're a good team, all of us. Kind yeah. of. A little weird. We are. Actually, And no one weird. at my monk school could do the bow stuff, so that made me feel special. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, we should be quiet. We, we should be quiet. Yeah. We should probably get back. Yeah. Let's uh, put a pip in our step. Let me see. Lucky and Zephyr standing there in this little tiny clearing as they're talking and moving. And they move just past the camera out of frame. And we're left with this tiny little clearing. And we just see no. a snake no. slither in. Snake. Turn and look at them. <gasps> And we'll see you next time. Oh week. my god! <laughs> spies everywhere! Spies everywhere! Spies everywhere! Spies everywhere! Spies everywhere! Spies Druids, man. Well, good, good thing you weren't talking about anything incriminating. Yeah, we were just yeah. shooting. They're I like, mean, oh, those dumb girls. Talking about ladies' night. Uh, <laughs> talking hey, about guys. the ultimate away game. Like, <laughs> on their turf. Yeah, they have severe this home field so advantage. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Brutal.